sustained. The first time you saw my client was when the police had him handcuffed at the apartment complex and they asked you if this was the man that you allegedly saw. No. The first time I saw your client was at Sloan's apartment while he was killing him. You're wrong. You just won't admit you're wrong. It was him. Why would I lie about it? Now, I didn't bring up motive to lie, Mr. Beck, but since you did, let's talk about that. What day of the month did you come by the apartment to read the meeting? The 15th. So what? That was the day that Mr. Sloan collected rent money. Now, you knew he had all that cash, didn't you? What are you saying? I did it? Whoever killed Mr. Sloan knew about the money, about the building. You did. You checked the meter the same day every month, rent day, and you had the perfect excuse to be there. After you found out the police suspected my client, you knew you had a fall guy for the murder, too. Objection. Withdrawn. I was just showing the jury how easy it is to accuse a man of doing something he didn't do. No further questions. Are you crazy? I'll handcuff you to that chair before I let you testify. We destroyed that eyewitness. We kept your prior conviction out. We picked a good jury. They didn't follow the case before. They don't know about your past. We can win. I'm gonna testify. Your own jury consultant said the last jury wanted to hear from me. You can't. If Keller asks you anything about the murder weapon, you'll have to say you moved it. You won't be able to explain why without telling the jury that you were convicted of murder and you were afraid of being framed. I was framed this time. You can tell them I was innocent before. No, we can't. Legally, your conviction's still valid. Even then, our chances of winning this case are zero. My last lawyer told me not to talk. You know what it feels like to get convicted and not even have your say? I'm not going down looking this time. I'm taking my swing. You are making a mistake. Yeah, well, at least this one will be my fault. Great. It'll be a great comfort to you when they strap you to the gurney and give you the needle. In every criminal case, before the defense is allowed to rest, I'm required by law to ask the defendant directly, without the jury present, if he wishes to testify in his own behalf. This is called a Robles hearing. Mr. Graves? Have you advised your client on his right to testify? I've advised them not to testify. I want to testify. Mr. Graves is a fine lawyer, sir. You should listen to him. This is my decision, not his. Very well. Call the jury down. You disliked Mr. Sloan. That's true. I don't deny that. You also admit you two did argue that day. Yes, over the fact that he wanted to illegally raise my rent. Did it get physical? No. No, I never touched him that day. Or any day. never killed him. You didn't like Mr. Sloan. Did you like the apartment? Well, not really. It, it's pretty run down. So why not move? Objection. Relevance. This is cross-examination. I'm allowed to question his story. Once the defendant takes the stand, he could be cross-examined like any other witness. Answer the question if you can. I couldn't find another place. Really? In all of Los Angeles. Cal is good. He's biting around the edges of Joshua's conviction, but not going over the line. And he's making me object. Meanwhile, the jury thinks we're hiding something relevant. So, you knew he was collecting money from other tenants that day? It was the day he collected rent. He collected cash? Well, that's how he wanted us to pay him. So he had thousands of dollars. It's a lot of money. You haven't made much money at all in the last 15 years, have you? Why is that? Objection. Goes to motive, robbery. Overruled, Mr. Graves. Did you rob him and kill him for the rent money? No. But 
you needed money. You haven't worked in 15 years. Objection. Again, goes to his motive to rob and kill the victim. I'm entitled to this line of questioning. Overruled. I didn't kill for it. So you keep claiming. Did you have a motive to rob him or not? No. Because you have money? From where? You have a child. A daughter? Did you borrow money from her? Objection. Relevance. Goes to motive. Overruled. I don't speak with my daughter. She doesn't speak to me. Is that because you asked her for money before, or does it have to do with the death of her mom? Objection. Sustain. Seems like your lawyer doesn't want you to answer any questions Objection. today. See what I mean? Nothing further. We don't have any more witnesses. The parole officer wants to testify, but I can't put him on without the jury hearing about your prior conviction. Then you'll win with your closing. I've seen you do it before. You can be very persuasive. Sometimes I can. Mr. Graves told me what happened the night my mother died. But why don't you tell me? What the hell is this? And good evening to you too, Alden. You can't file that, Luther. Sure I can. It's a petition for quorum novus. It's what you filed to get a conviction expunged when a man has completed his sentence. Then let us file it for you. The way you wrote it, you make it sound like his first conviction was your fault. It wasn't. If anybody was to blame, it was his first defense lawyer, or the police, but not you. You did your job. If you file it the way you wrote it, it'll tarnish your reputation. I don't care about that. We do. You're a great lawyer. And a great man. And we're not going to let anyone question that, not even you. If you file this, I swear to God, I'll file an amicus motion against it. And I'll win. You know I will. You know, doctors get to bury their mistakes, Luther. Lawyers have to live with them. Anyway, you can't change the last trial, so just make sure you win this one. The truth? You didn't get that from the defendant. You know you didn't. He didn't need to testify, but once he did, you're to judge him like any other witness. What was he trying to hide? He had motive, opportunity, access. He's a killer. He's guilty. Convict him. The DA has to prove my client's guilt. That is his cross to bear. I used to carry it. I know what a heavy burden it is. The DA tried. But he did not prove his case beyond a reasonable doubt. But that doesn't mean that the DA has to lose this case. The Supreme Court said, prosecutors win when justice is done. Getting the wrong person convicted is not a win. It is the worst loss in the world. DAs forget that. But that is why we have juries. So that you can remind them. <laughs>